<laughs> Thank you. Oh, Jake. I got a big pole. It's bolts. Firstly, forgive our mess. The throws are constructed. You see, obviously, this is, this is a station area. The station is going to be roughly seven meters above this grade. All of these stairs will take, you know, the bias entry station. It's very high elevated, only because we have to get up and over the crowd and have enough room for the fire trucks to pass underneath uh, in the event they need to. So, going to come into the station, have the first launch, and then dives into the into the map. The station itself, the design's just in the final throws, so we are getting ready to start the foundations of the works on the station in the upcoming weeks. Um, the existing electrical room, electrical mechanical room, we have to keep that there in order to keep the park up and going because it feeds a couple of other rides. So we need to transition that over into the new space that's going to be in the new station as well. At the far end of the station, we've got a retail offering that's going to essentially go out, the dog leg over toward that. Uh, Umbrella there, so end up going that way, which you'll see, I think, in the rendering. I think it shows up in the video. Uh, any questions in here? Um, is the station gonna be able to fit two trains? Right now, it's got one and a half. I think. It's okay. Essentially, we're still looking at it. So it's not 100% confirmed, but yeah, roughly one and a half. Now you're supposed to, you're supposed to ask all the hard questions. <laughs> okay, uh, where's the maintenance bay going to be located? Oh, we'll see. Um, oh, okay. Inside, yeah. Awesome. Um, any qu other questions in the station? Are there going to be lockers incorporated into this area? Yeah, generally over by where that umbrella is and behind there. It's at the far end of the retail shop is where it's going to be. And will there be metal detectors worked into the queue as well? We're looking at that. Again, we're, we're trying to develop the most practical strategy for Obviously, with uh, loose articles, it's always a concern. So. Was there any challenges placing the station here? Because like, it's a very compact area. Yes, it's uh, again throughout the park. It's like a small city in terms of infrastructure and the underground utilities. It's uh, it's complex. There's a number of areas throughout the park where we actually have to drill caissons in proximity to the corridor, bridge over the corridor, all these different things in order to get the ride. We've done, we worked with the manufacturer a lot in order to best place a lot of the columns with some of them, they just hit on top of the utility corridors. In the station, primarily near that electrical room, there's a lot of underground conduits that, we, that are there that we had records of and some of them have grown over the years, so there was a, quite a collection. So we ended up moving those caissons around a little bit in order to build a transfer slab in order to basically accommodate the ride for What's been the timeline thus far up until this point? Like when did, what was the prep work? When did that start? When did first footer go in? Well, the prep work was both, Extreme Skyflower was the first thing to basically take down to commit the, the way forward for the ride. At the same time, we started doing the demolition of the old games building and the other buildings that were here. So essentially that started in roughly in March, but it takes a while in order to get the design. And we're working through the, the, the column placements with the manufacturer. You know, that takes a bit of time and then you have to get those drawings into the works as far as facility interface drawings. Um, so yeah, it takes a bit of time. Originally what we ended up doing, in order to start getting the, the information faster, we start breaking into phases. Originally this is phase one. From the end of the break run, we're over by, ba by basketball, all the, right, all the way into the mountain, and to the exit of the mountain was going to be phase one. But because of the amount of work that's within the, the mountain itself, we broke that into phase 1.5. And then phase two is from the exit of the mountain all the way back to here. So right now all the foundations are done for phase one. We're working through phase 1.5. 1.5 is difficult. You'll see when we get in the mountain, it's fairly complex, a lot of obstructions and things like that. So we're working through that. That's a bit of a tricky one. Obviously, it has to get framed out. Where those those uh, steel members are in works right now and being fabricated. 
you need to be able to frame the opening before you cut it. But it's a double-edged sword. As soon as you cut it, then you're going to have to work around it, and you're inviting weather into the mountain. So again, our plan right now is to not just hold off on that penetration as long as we can, facilitate the works are up there, so we're going to have to work around the opening, and then when we're ready, cut the opening. That's the same old true as we work down at the various level. We want to make sure we populate the inside before we create a big hole in the floor and invite weather into the mountain. Okay. where we actually put those in to contain the earth. So normally what happens when you drill the case on, you have to excavate around it, form the cap, and then backfill. That was a way to minimize the impact within the, the paved spaces. So we put those in first for those of you. There's going to be planters built around those. So generally they're about 600 millimeters above datum, or above plaza level, but there'll be seat walls around that encapsulating those. For those footings over there, which are roughly one meter out of the ground, those are essentially there so that obviously the steel column's not subjected to any traffic or whatever else. So we've kept the concrete attention high there so they're up and out of the ground. Um, inside here, there's not so much to see at this point. So that's, just, that's an oversized opening for what we actually need. So that's a pretty really decent piece of what you want to run. Comes up over to the bunny hill and then dives in here. We're constructing retaining walls all around here and the rag pillars are starting to shut down as you go into the mountain. Again, that bead will create a nice little head chopper moment when you come into the station. So yeah, it's gonna be good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good question. The drill rig's coming back in on Monday. There's two that are here before the mountain. And because of the phasing between phase one and 1.5, it just happens to be the delineation between phase 1.5. So the crew's coming in Monday to do column 16 and 17, which is before the mountain. But we had to construct this platform for the rig to sit here. And because of the oncoming rain this weekend, we didn't want it to get saturated with water and potentially fail. So since we're protecting it from weather right now, it's like a good idea. We're funneling in. Oh my god. This is so cool. Oh, it's the crown! What is it?
everybody? Uh, we're still waiting for some. For those of you who have never been in the mountain before, behold, this is our inside of our Wonder Mountain. It's actually a steel structure that's clad with a gunite skin. And we're uh, putting this new ride in. Right now we're assembling acre cages, acre bolt cages over here. You can see that from the manufacturer. Rebar cages are caissons that are being installed in here. You see one that's still uh, got fencing around it. We still have to do the cap. There's a number of caissons already drilled in here that we've we bored, but we've backfilled with sand to make them safe, so it's safe to walk around. As we talked about from up top, this is where the coaster dives in. Now the main launch run, now through this cross tracing up out of the river, we'll get to that. On this side here is a storage track, two storage tracks for trains. One storage track going this way, one storage track going that way with the transit track. Right transit track, transfer over to this area. One storage, one transit going on that way. That way we can get the work on the offseason. This area here, this level here will be roughly finished floor is where the floor is going to be. The ride's going to be center, the running rail is going to be around this site. When we get over to the storage track area, this is going to be depressed. cabinets, the storage, uh, energy storage tanks, and on the far side will be a transformer, we're making a transformer room for obviously the power to come in. We've already run the, the main conduit lines inside the mountain here. We we'll run them across the plaza, we still have to connect from the, from the electrical room. Exit for Thunder Run's temporary. They're going to redirect it to the opposite side. After? Over the ride? Yeah. Not over the ride, no. Oh, into the mountain of the river. Over there. Uh, oh, they're going to redo the whole thing. I think so, yeah. So along the main launch, it's down through here. It starts to bend up and go through. Taken out, that beam gets taken out, this cross bracing gets removed, that cross bracing gets removed and bumped up. So essentially the train's gonna run up here and then through the roof to get a this is where, up there. This is where it's gonna start pulling up? Yeah, roughly right around here, where it starts to curve up. But yeah, it pumped, it 
conflicts with the beam, so all this has to be removed and the first bay of uh, flooring and that cross brace is within. So that work's supposed to start the, the crews here to start to start doing some prep work on it. They have to be either replaced, they're going to be replaced either plugged up or else, you know, put in other locations to do the same function. Okay. Essentially, so you don't have, you know. We would like that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, question, on the, on the teaser video, there was one support that looked like it was connected to another piece of track but not to the ground. Is that, is that just something in the rendering that was kind of off or there was like, it was like a part of the, I mean, it was like just a support that was connected to the track but didn't look like it was Well, it's going to connect to the ground. Okay. Yeah. yeah that's what I was like thinking, like, what is this yeah, weird so wait thing? A minute. Yeah, no, you know, those, those internet investigators. Yeah, no, it's yeah. going to connect. Okay. All, all things come down to the ground. That's right. Yeah. yeah. The mountain itself is going to be an independent structure. Right. Right. It's kept on its own. So we see it's, uh, we don't want to share those bullets on the mountain. Yeah, that's not It's not bad. Okay. Okay, there's one footing right here. Oh, not yet. One right oh, so this wall is getting more. Yeah, this wall. This deck, up until that first set of columns, these cross braces go away, the deck goes away. Wow. Again, this is where the ride's coming up and out, right? So there will be another beam that's placed across this opening. Um, we created a construction office here. Essentially, obviously, to host meetings with the various trades, safety meetings, etc. cetera. Um, so that's going to be our, our little command center. We do have a trailer out at the station that you've seen for months now. Since that'll be there strictly for the station. So it'll just be a place for drawings, charging tools, things like that. So we put Swiper there just to add a little levity for the station. <laughs> so yeah, so there's a group of footings right here. There's three here, and one here that comes up on the diagonal. There's another group, another set, bunch of footings that come down this wall. One, you guys need to check three. it out. Take a here. There's one. There's another one part way down. Another one further down. I said to you these are going to go up and out. This one comes up on the diagonal, so it's going to miss that. But anywhere we where we penetrate, this, obviously this deck goes away. But anywhere we, where we need to penetrate the deck, we uh, we can map those places out pretty effectively. The park. We ended up getting a digital scanner this year, so we scanned the whole right area plus the inside of the mountain, plus the outside of the mountain, so we can pinpoint with a 3D model of where it penetrates the various levels and the exterior skin, we can nail those things down pretty closely. Um, yeah, it's actually been... So it's uh, going through three levels of floor, technically, right? Yeah, yeah well, this is being removed. Yeah. Then the 60 yeah. foot and the 90 foot. Yeah. Essentially, the, I didn't okay. mention, but on the outside, we're also going to deck over that four and a half meter level, this level here. Is gonna, we're going to deck over and pour that with concrete to create future space above the level. It'll also represent the, the roof or the ceilings over top of the electric room and the maintenance room. Oh, wow. So, yeah. I know. Cool. <laughs> Good question. There's one footing over there that comes up and shares this. Roof deck, another one here. That's a survey control point, but on the other side of this wall, there's also footings there. There's a retaining wall that goes on the outside. There's footings on the top of the retaining wall. It's going to be it's like a whole maze. <laughs> yeah, literally. It used to. Oh, whoa! Place. Well, here's the ruins maze. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How apropos. Now I did this in such a way that we're going up in stages, so that. We have two penetrations that go through the floor here. So obviously this is a, an access way for hunt, but we've, we've created like little closets around where we have to make the penetrations to go through and permit us to do the work. So that's what those two little closets are for. Obviously with Guardian still operating, it's dark in here. Wall this 
year. It goes over to this area here. So this is where the train passes here. This is actually the opening for the deck that we're creating. In addition, we're creating other openings here, 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 a couple more over there for the Tower 2 columns to pass through, Tower 1, Tower 2. Um, we see we have to be mindful that Guardian's operating. So once we go to weekends only, we have free rain in here through the week. But until that time, we have to be respectful of the ride. That's the entry point for Guardian. They come in there. This is where the screens begin. They go around and just give you a sense of orientation. But then on this level here, after we, you know, we have to build walls here, which are going to represent the outside wall. Since you think of this as a plenum, as it comes into the front, and to the ride space, it'll be encapsulated all the way up and out. So obviously we're going to have to deal with the weather. Is it going to have a large opening? Is it going to have rain, snow, whatever else? It will channel it. We'll channel that water to appropriate drainage. But the exterior, this will represent an exterior vault. So I say to these will be blocked and some sort of coating on it. There's a lot of work in here still to do. Any other questions in here? That's the second one. show place and out to extreme skyflyer site. So there'll be multiple penetrations where these columns, diagonal braces and column penetrations come through. Like I said, we can map those out pretty effectively. Again, try not to be too precise because obviously we have to facilitate the installation and not make it too difficult. But we have, you know, obviously we're trying to reduce the amount of restorative work that we need to do as well. Yeah. Feel free to take a look at it. Are there any challenges with this? Yeah, we're going to attempt to assume it because of the track and, and coasters, you know, the columns come through here, this is going to be always open. So we have to then ch channel the water to appropriate drain, look like a trench drain in there to collect the water. And, do, and again, we have snow to deal with as well, so we'll have to be mindful of that. So any of the interior walls that we're building inside will be exterior grade walls whether it's block or CMU with uh, some sort of exterior coating, but primarily the block wall. It's, uh, again, it's going to represent the outside. And again, think of it like a plenum from here all the way to the entry. This is going to come through. And along the main launch, you've probably seen the video too, where they've got they've encapsulated with like a, more like a cave type structure going through. 
again, that's going to be a scenic treatment that's applied out. Right now, what I'm describing is more the facility interface type of works. There'll be a scenic treatment inside that creates that intimate enclosure that goes through. We're still working through the details of what's you know, fabricated and whatever else, but all that's in the, it's in the planning phase. Speaking of quick theming, in the video, there is some like snow cap on like the back of one of, I think, the International Showplace buildings. Is there uh, I think theming? on the ride station they had snow on those. Again, it's still being evaluated. Okay. Whether it's, I mean, I have my own personal thoughts. I'm, I'm from Canada. I don't get a big thrill from snow in, right. the, in the off season. <laughs> I've had enough. But you know, there are those who like the Alpen yeah. aspect of it, so that it lends itself to that. If there is going to be a fire effect, where like would it most likely go? It's going to be up here, but where exactly it is, I can't tell you. It's still being, it's still in the throws. Obviously, you know, we've got our creative folks are looking at it. They're, they're, uh, they're looking at the size of the effect, where it's going to be, proximity to the train, all those different things. So it's all part of the okay. part of the thought process. Another question in the in the model video. Essentially, it was like an elevated drone shot of the mountains so you could see the coaster. When you're on ground level in the park, are you going to be able to see the top of that uh, top hat there? Yes. You will? Yeah. Part of the thinking was it didn't want to be too tall because obviously from the floral flag looking down International Street, we wanted to make sure that it was elegant looking as it, and it wasn't, you know, didn't take away from the beauty of the mountains. Um, I think we've kept it to the right height so that it comes up and out. You can see it from outside, but it doesn't detract from the beauty of the, you know, the, from that distance. So it looks like there's a lot of work to do. Are you guys waiting till like it goes to weekend operations to start a lot of this? I say waiting. Right now it's more with the information, because it's coming out in phases, that has to go through the, the, the designers too, like through the, our, our consultants. And those have to be produced too, like construction rated drawings, in order to order steel, in order to like the rebar, everything else, and tender the work out. So it's, it's going through, it's going through appropriately. It's, it's, there's a lot to do, and this thing is a very complex rise. I think what we, obviously the inside of the mount is going to be formidable as far as how we, how we ta tackle that. It's difficult constructing everything, getting it ready, and then only to have to sit a crane up, then to put the steel in. So we have to, obviously we have to be mindful that we don't handcuff ourselves as we do the work. As far as the, the outside work, the other phases, you know, most of that stuff is in back house areas and we've got free rain to do. Uh, that work will be ramping up shortly. It's just in finalizing the, the construction drawings. And so I would say in a few weeks, we'll see, start seeing multiple crews out there as far as that goes. We, right now, we're working on foundations inside the mountain, but that stuff is close to being let out for the, for the rest of the balance of the world. Awesome. back of the haunt space there's still some space there mm -hmm. whether it's it won't be i don't think it'll ever be realized right or like a traction, but who knows is the space big enough for like a dark ride like a tracked like sally dark rides kind of kind of thing yeah that was still we're, now we're completing the four and a half meter level yeah there's gonna be a fair there's be a lot of space there for something This is the ruins. This is where it's going to go up and out. Construction office inside the mountain. 
Here and just throw it here, and no one would ever know it was here. I already got those two. I already got those things. <laughs> but you still got kind of being open. Good construction up there. Right? Yeah. This is better than you thought, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's so many flights. <laughs> <laughs>